Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So today I'm really excited to show you this look right here. It's a look I've been promising a lot of you guys on social media. Um, this actually is my first makeup look on here, so I'm really excited to give it a go and to see what you guys think of it. And it's a really beautiful palette that I Love Sari E had collaborated with Dose Makeup and I'm really excited to show you how to get this look for a really nice you know, Friday, Saturday night out or New Year's Eve look um, or even, you know, if you're just going to the grocery store on a Monday, you know, if that's your thing. So I'm really excited to get started. Okay, so first things first is we're going to start with my eyebrows and I've been really loving the MAC Spiked um, Eyebrow Styler and it's really nice because it does have a nice spoolie on one side and then it has the pencil on one side. So we're going to get started giving my eyebrows some life. Hello, handsome! So first what I'm going to do is brush my eyebrows so that they're not being all crazy and that they're a little bit more tamed. And I generally like to just brush up and over. And I really do like this pencil because I feel like it allows you a lot of control. And you want to make sure your tension is good. I'm not like gripping the ends like a a pencil and just like really going crazy and like filling in. I'm really just holding the ends of the, the pen and just lightly following my natural shape. And then once you get more to the middle, you're really just flicking up and you want to make sure you're, t it's all about tension. You want to make sure that you're really placing the pencil and just like barely adding some product on there. I don't know about you guys, but I do feel like one eye, one eyebrow always looks better. And it's funny because in beauty school, they always say that your eyebrows are cousins, not sisters. And I think that's the most accurate thing in the world. Especially dealing with like other people's eyebrows and filling them in. Ah yes, I like it a lot. Okay, perfect. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, Max Soft Ochre Eyeshadow Primer, and I really like this primer. It really has like never done me wrong. It's really close to my skin complexion, and it just makes everything looks so even and it makes people like have actual eyeballs so you can see exactly what you're doing. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the tip of my finger and I'm going to start in the middle and then just brush out. And I'm also going to define my brow bone just a little bit more later so I'm not going to really focus on making any sharp angles. I just want to get it on the lid so we can get down to business. Perfect, so you're gonna repeat that process on the other eye. Perfect, now that I have actual eyeballs, you've created like a nice, even canvas, you're going to go in with the eyeshadow. And like I mentioned before, I'm really excited to use this palette. This is the I Love Sarai palette. She came out and collaborated with Joseph Colors, and I really adore anything that she comes out with. Um, and just her artistry in general. And Dose of Colors, like this introduced me to Dose of Col Colors, believe it or not, but there, I've bought so many eyeshadows since this launch and definitely like one of my favorite brands for eyeshadows. Like I'm gonna be using it a lot more on my brides, so. And I have so many other looks using their products. So I'm really excited to show you that as well. So next we're just gonna get into it. We're gonna get into the mess. This is, it's gonna be fun. So, we're going to be using the color Loungy, and it's this really gorgeous, um, kind of peachy look. Yeah, it's more peachy. It's definitely more summer look, or it could be fall. You could do so many different things with these colors, really. Especially with the peachy, and then the sienna is more of like a dusty, dark. It reminds me of when we went to Morocco. I feel like this color is a color I saw like on all of the pots and it was just very vibrant on the building, so I, I love that color. Anyways, so we're gonna pick up a little bit of product on our Sigma E40 brush, it's a tapered brush. This is one of my favorite brushes, and you're just gonna lightly tap off the excess product, 
and this eyeshadow is very dense so you really don't have to use a lot and I'm just going to start right in the middle of my crease and you want to make sure you have good tension so you want to make sure that you're holding the brush properly that way it's easy for you to blend the product out later on because if you're going in hard right away like I feel like that's where people get really intimidated by makeup is they go in and I mean really makeup is you're just going in and making harsh lines and just blending it out so you just have to make sure that you're setting yourself up for success so next I think I'm going to move on to the next color so I'm going to take my Morphe brush. It does not have a number and I know I bought it like in a case. It came with a bunch of brushes and I cannot help you with a number. But if I do find out, I definitely will show you. And I'm going to take up that gorgeous color Sienna. Just pick it up on the edge of the brush and you're going to start right below kind of where the crease is and I'm just going to like build up the product right in the center. So I'm really excited for this channel. I know I haven't really talked much about it, but this is my first makeup look, and I'm really excited to kind of venture off and do a little bit more makeup looks. I also kind of want to dive into skincare because that's something I'm very, very passionate about. I'm just open to suggestions when it comes to um, beauty related. As you know, I am a hair and makeup artist based in Portland, and I specialize in bridal, and I have been making a lot of in educational hair videos. That's been my, my focus the past like few years. And I kind of just started up this new, new branding, which I'm really excited about to try to get more into the educational world. So I definitely want to do add a few ver like variety, diversity to my page. Cause I know it could be daunting when you're looking at somebody's page and it's like the same thing, same thing. And I know a few people have requested to, for me to do a makeup look and kind of just share more about myself. So that's cool. Hmm. So I really like how it's just like brought out on the side. Yes, we're gonna build that up. I'm really excited to get done with this makeup look just so I can eat food because that's what life's about, right? I've been on like this, well me and my husband have been on this like ramen fix. Like, I feel like I found my most favorite ramen in Portland, but he wants to like go explore new places, but it's so hard when you like find the ramen, you know? And plus, we went to, we did like a Backpack Asia trip last fall, and it was the best thing, like in Tokyo, if you're ever in Tokyo, or just in Japan in general. Just like eat ramen all the time. Ramen and kiyosa and ugh, so many good things. Garbo twist saksaku ということをお伝えしています So, I totally didn't tell you what I just did, but I did use the soft ochre eyeshadow primer to redefine my lid again because then we're going to go through and we're going to do a lot more color. <laughs> Just when you thought like the col like that's enough color. Like that actually looks good. But this is, you know, let's just get that's not the point today. Let's move forward. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to use Finders Keepers. Let me show you the color. It's that really pretty black color. And I don't know if you could see it on camera. But it has like specks of like blue and yellow a little bit. It's just so beautiful and powerful. So we're gonna put, the goal is we're gonna put this color all over the eyelid. Not all over, but you know, where I just primed my eyelid. And then we're gonna pop the Palma color on top of that. And the Palma color is more of like a turquoise kind of teal color. It's gorgeous just as by itself, but with the two colors mixed, I'm really looking for like this color, like this really pretty like emerald green, which I'm really into nowadays. I really just like to use, especially if it has any metallic in it, I really like to use my fingers to pick up the product. I feel like with the brush, it kind of gets everywhere and it's a little messy and you just have a little bit more control. So with these 
colors that have more of that foiled um, glitter kind of texture to it. I just use my fingers to apply the product. Next, I'm gonna take a free finger, which is my index finger, and I'm just really gonna rub the product on top and pop it on, yes. Oof, it's pretty. Forget it, I love it. Ooh, and it matches my headband, you guys. Ooh, so funny. And especially when I'm doing like a dramatic look, I do like to start with the eyes first because if you get a bunch of fallout, you could clean it up after the fact, which, I mean, the bottom of my eyes look cray, so we'll fix that later. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of sienna again and just like pop it right in the crease. It looks crazy right now, I promise. It's gonna like shape up and you're gonna be like, oh dang, it all came together. It's funny because I feel like that always happens whenever I'm doing makeup on somebody else. I'm always like, hey, yeah, like don't look at your eyes right now. You look crazy. Don't look at your face because there's a lot of awkward middle to the whole makeup process. Oh, next I'm going to go through it with my liner. This is the Liquid Last Liner by MAC. This stuff does not budge. Like, it's the only thing I'll use for weddings. Like, you know, because people be crying and stuff. So you got to make sure that their liner is not dripping down their face. There's no future for us. You're not safe with me. I generally like to do my liner, do my mascara, and then put on falsies. So I'm going to be using the Lily Lashes in Ella today because Ella's a little extra and more full, so. Yeah, I'm really excited because I love her lashes. Like, I have so many different pairs just for so many different looks. Okay, so next we're just gonna repeat that same process to the other eye, and we're gonna clean up some of the bottom, and we'll do we'll add some nice definition to the bottom lash and uh, lower waterline, but we will do that once I'm done with the next eye. Okay, perfect, so now both eyes are done. No big deal, I kind of just did this look in like five minutes, you know? So it happens when you're like a pro or not. So I forgot my makeup remover wipes at home because we're not filming at home, we're filming at my trial space. And obviously this look gets all over your freaking face. So, all over your face. So I know I've ran into that situation where I forgot makeup remover wipes and good thing I had like lotion in my kit, like, you know, moisturizer or whatever. And I just put it on a paper towel and you just put it on your skin and you should be able to just brush it off. So it's kind of like a hack. My skin is gonna hate me though for all of the pressure that's about to be applied to it. It's definitely, literally thought I grabbed all my makeup stuff. How do you forget makeup remover wipes? <laughs> this is quite embarrassing. <laughs> well, that's never gonna happen again. I like how you're just smirking over there. Well, you know what? We're just gonna eat ramen a little later now because of this, this mess up, you know? Well, it's gotta remove all of this crud. Oh. Thousands of tears later. Okay, so at least you learned like a quick trick. Like, if you don't have makeup remover wipes, you can improvise, you know? So I've had to do that once and I learned my lesson when I did that with a client and I promised I'd never do that again, which I haven't done that with a client again, but I just did that today. So moving on. <laughs> so next we're gonna go through with um, our blurring primer by Cover FX. And just we're gonna take that. Okay, and then we're just gonna put it all over the face. Hide up some of that mistake from earlier. My skin is so red now, you guys. I'm gonna have to show it some love tomorrow. What sides are there? Mine are the ozones! Choose one! I'm not gonna do any makeup for like 
a few days. That's for sure. Cool. Now that you have that all on, let's move forward. So I'm going to use the CC Your Skin But Better by It Cosmetics. Um, it does have some SPF in it, um, which is pretty cool. Next. Face looks decent. Next, we're going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This actually is one of my favorite concealers. I have a few, but you know, that's for another time to discuss. So I'm going to go in with the, the shade Creme Brulee because I'm always about my sweets, so it's like kind of fitting. <laughs> Anyways, you're going to go underneath your eye. You know, today I'm feeling it. I'm going to go oh, like pretty heavy. I'm just gonna make up for that past mistake from earlier. So if there's anything that shines through, best believe it's gonna be like forgotten, long forgotten. And you're gonna do the same thing over here. Another thing too, if you want your bags to like not show up as much, you wanna like buff it into the direction of your bags. Okay, now that you look like a little sleepy hollow, you know, vibes, um, you're gonna go through and add some life to your face. So I'm gonna use the NC50 Studio Fix Perfecting Stick by MAC. And I like this because it gives you like a really bronzy, um, really pretty tan look. Um, and you're just gonna, I'm gonna contour with it. I know it might be a little too warm for some folks, but for me, I really like it. And that jawline, perfect. And then for my nose contour, I'm actually gonna use something different. Then I'm gonna go back in with the Beauty Blender and use the butt of it and just like get it in my face. And this product too, like you really don't have to use that much. Um, a little goes a long way. Next, I'm gonna use the Tarte palette and I'm going to use a little bit of like their bronzy color. I'm gonna, gonna do a little bit of a nose contour. So I'm just gonna like bring it up. I'm gonna use that, not that same E40 Sigma brush from earlier, it's actually another one. I have like quite a few of these ones. Next we're gonna go through NARS uh, Bronzer in Laguna. And I'm just gonna go through and like set where we had added some shadowing to our face. Kind of just like blend everything together from there. I'm gonna like bring it down to the neck. <laughs> okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to use some blush. So I'm gonna use Max Blush in Warm Glow. It's one of my favorite blushes. Like it has, I don't know, it's just like more of a, it's good for women or ladies who just want like a little bit of color. But since um, our eyeshadow is just like, that's where it's at, you know what I mean? That's where you want the color to be emphasized. It kind of just gives you a little some some, but not like being too extra. Next, I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter. This is the Becca um, Chrissy Teigen one. This was actually gifted from my friend, No No. She's the sweetie. And sometimes I, I mean, normally I use uh, a brush for this, but I'm just gonna gently kind of rub it into the skin for it to look a little bit more natural. So then we're gonna do lips and then we're gonna go back to doing the under eyes and then we will be done. And since we're done with the foundation, I'm gonna let my hair down. Let your hair down, 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 let your hair down. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Max Spice lip liner. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're going to go in with my ColourPop lippy stick in, oh snap. So, this is a really pretty nice like neutral color. So now back to the under eye drama to finish this look. So I'm gonna go in with my brown liner and I'm just going to do the waterline. So I'm gonna go with it in with the Tarte eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go in 
with the color dunes. And I'm just gonna start in the middle. And the brush I'm using is a Morphe flat brush. And just to start in the middle and then just gently pull out at the edges. What, what? Almost done. We have like one more thing to do. We have to use, go back to I Love Sarai's palette. And we're gonna use Poquito Mas, which as you can see, it's like such a really pretty, kind of pearly color. And you're just gonna top it right at the inner corner of your eye. And then we're gonna set it with the Fix Plus by MAC. And ready, spritz. Whew. Always feels so good. You know, if you ever need like a pick-me-up, just spritz that on your face and you're good. So this is the look, the completed finished product. And it was really fun to do. Um, we did have some hiccups along the road for our first makeup video on the channel, but which is totally fine. You know, it's life, right? You just, you gotta move with it. So yeah, I'm really excited to have done this look and to continue to do more videos for my channel. I definitely have some ideas up my sleeves. So, and if definitely if you have any suggestions, don't hesitate to comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, all that fun stuff.